corresponding to the eight. Yan lang po yung pinaka covering letter complaint with a lot of attachments. Nakita nyo naman po siguro, if you have been covering NBI since this morning, you saw the truckload of documents. Now, dahil po, walo yung principal respondents, and these are the law makers. Pasensya na yung mga hindi mabibigyan. Jesus Christ. No, 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 don't, don't. Please, please. That's not part of it. That's not part of it. No, no, no. Can I have that? Excuse me. Excuse me. Kung sino man po nakakuha nung hindi dapat kunin. Ang, ang kailangan lang po ninyong kunin ay yung executive summary. If you are in possession of any other document other than an executive summary, that is an unauthorized document and therefore you may be charged. <laughs> okay. Opo, pinapasirox na po ito. Hindi babalik sa bukani. One, two, three, four, five, six. Isa pa. Yan. Okay, thank you. So it's the eight. Um, yung NBI po, yung NBI ngayon ay nagsisirox na po sila ng isang set nung walo. Ito, itong ganito. Kanina ho kasi hindi nagkaroon ng oras para i-reproduce i itong walong letter complaints dahil syempre ang naging priority yung pagtapos ng mga final namin po kanina. Ma'am? Wala, wala na. Copy ko na ito. Okay. So, I, as I told you, nagsisirox na nga po yung NBI ng isang set ng ganito, yung walo. No? Yung walo. Para ma mas maganda kung talagang makita nyo yung mga allegations dito other than is executive summary. Kasi summary lang nga ho yan. We just tried to capture It's an average of 20 pages per letter complaint. Okay, so. Now, why do we say plunder for the five lawmakers? <coughs> Excuse me. These five lawmakers committed plunder in conspiracy with Napoles and officials of the implementing agencies when said lawmakers each accumulated more than 50 million pesos, which is the, as you know, yung pong threshold amount for plunder, through a series of transactions over time, through misappropriation, conversion, misuse, and malversation of the cash value of the project cost allocated from the lawmakers PDAF, and through their acceptance of kickbacks or commissions. And is indicated in the executive summary the amount of plunder accumulated by each lawmaker representing the kickbacks received from Napoles. So ito pong limang po ito, puro more than 50 million. Do naman po sa tatlo, bakit ho hindi plunder? At bakit ang, ang recommendation lang po namin is for malversation, direct bribery, and other graft and corrupt practices. I, uh, Dahil yung pinaka-basis po dito, yung threshold na amount, yung supposedly kickback nila, the commission, the rebates from Napoles, uh, less than 50 million, although yung kanilang total PDAF allocations ay uh, more than 50 million. So the crimes of plunder, malversation, bribery, and other graft and corrupt practices 
were committed when said lawmakers received from Nepales kickbacks amounting to 40 to 60 percent of the cash value of the project cost for every project endorsed by the lawmaker to a Nepales NGO. These kickbacks are the lawmaker's bribe for giving undue favor to a Nepales NGO or represent his illegally contracted share from a malversation scheme designed to misuse and misappropriate public funds entrusted to him and which he appropriates instead for private gain rather than the public benefit intended by law. So since the amount of commission, kickbacks, rebates are less than 50 million, for these three other lawmakers, hindi ho namin mai, uh, mai uh, uh, lagay as, uh, as uh, plunder. Hindi namin maipilit as plunder. Although if we base it from the total PDAF allocations, na kanilang misuse, ganun din ho yung mga pinapakasuhan namin for plunder, ay more than 50 million dapat. Now, para lalo din hong maintindihan yung tungkol sa sa plunder, a representative, ano lang po, sa isang sa isang pinapakasuhan namin for plunder. I, uh, this senator, as a public officer, amassed and accumulated ill-gotten wealth in the total amount of, so tingnan nyo na lang yung mga amounts dyan na, nandyan sa executive summary, na mga more than uh, 50 million, by himself and in connivance with his subordinate and authorized representative, so kung sino man yung representative niya, so, yun nga po, kasama ho sa mga kakasuhan yung mga chief of staff and other authorized representative and his co-conspirator, Napoles, and the indispensable participation of the officials of the implementing agencies, namely, NABCOR, NLDC, and TRC, through any or a combination or a series of following of the following overt or criminal acts or similar schemes or means described as follows. A, through misappropriation, conversion, and misuse or malversation of the monetary equivalent of the project cost allocated from that particular senator's PDAF, constituting public funds, and in conspiracy with the responsible officers and employees of NABCOR, NLDC, and TRC. So pinangalanan ho namin yung mga yon. At uh, sinabi ko na nga po yung mga pangalan nila kanina. As well as the NGO presidents, namely, yung pinangalanan ko rin ho kanina. Letter B, by receiving directly or indirectly commissions, rebates, or kickbacks, representing his share in the project cost allocated from his PDAF on several instances from Nepales or her employees in connection with the government contract or project that is given by the implementing agency to the corresponding NGO through his endorsement. And let her see, by taking advantage and abuse of his official position or authority as senator of the 14th and 15th Congresses, so this is just a sample, this is one of the three, to unjustly enrich himself at the expense and to the damage and prejudice of the Filipino people and the Republic of the Philippines. And each complaint would outline or would enumerate, would uh, narrate the specifics of, of, of that, those series of overt acts, why we think their acts fall under plunder. Now, so, ang recommendation nga po ng NBI is for preliminary investigation. Although we recognize and uh, we would respect 